Hello YouTube. So I am going to uh, go more in depth with depth, excuse me, uh, with Ubuntu Studio. Um, I did an installation, but that was just to show how to install it. It wasn't uh, an in-depth review. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So sorry, just had a little issue there. Um, there are certain programs on this particular one. Um, there's a Maya-like program. If, you, if you're a movie maker, you know what that is. There's music editing software. It's pretty good. So if I was going to set up my own editing bay, this is what I would use. Um, and it's really, really nice. It's just all the, all the software is free. Um, because Linux is free, so unless you buy the Enterprise Editions. So, as soon as this boots into uh, Ubuntu, I'll show you. Then uh, there's a little bait to see. I'm, I don't need that. Uh, I'll just do the top one. Sometimes the default's always the best. And the low latency means the time. And that was something that... This is an older computer, so it was looking for something that wasn't there. So it went into the boot splash screen. It should be going into the OS, I hope. Yeah, there it goes. There we go. Sometimes it does take a while. This computer's kind of old, so. There we go. Okay, so I am in. And it's telling me I'm not I don't need that right now, but if I was going to set up a station, I would I would totally do it. So, here we go. So, you click on this icon up here and you have audio production. And you have audio processors. So, you have GuitarX, you have all this. So, I'm going to open up GuitarX. which means this is that's capable of if you go and it has basically the capability to play you plug your guitar in and you could sit there and just play and um, it's really cool you can make a mini studio out of this if you want uh, mini um, mini doom uses mini for the music doom and doom 2 doom 3 doesn't use that um, I don't know what they use now. And they're sound generators. So if I want to... Now that's loading. Um, this is really cool. It's actually some really cool stuff. I am no audio-visual engineer. So I wouldn't know what half the stuff does. but it's a good thing to have. And there's mixers. There's an eco mixer. There's all sorts of stuff. There's even graphics on here.
There's all sorts of stuff on here, and it's really nice because um, if I was going to set this up to be so you could edit videos on here too, and then there's create from clipboard. There's all sorts of stuff you could do. Uh, there's a film template. I could do all sorts of editing on here if I wanted to, and uh, we'll go to video production. And then there's video production. And uh, you can make your own videos. There's Audacity, which is there's a .exe for Windows. Um, there's Wine, so you can use Windows software. Uh, as I said before, Wine stands for Wine is not an emulator. Um, it's really not. It actually puts uh, I forgot what you call it uh, right now. Registry. It puts a registry in there. Um, so there's that. There's video production. There's Blender. Um, this is like a Maya like program. Um, so I'll go to File. And this is just like Maya, it, it, which is a program that you could do this exact same thing on. But Maya is a little bit better, but this is Linux and it's free, so you get kind of what you pay for. So, um, And this is the video project. You create video, DVD, stuff like that. Um, Then there's raw, there's show what shot well. You can organize your photos. You can do all sorts of stuff. Now, the installation, the reason I used ELOs, excuse me, Jeff Lynn's ELOs all over the world music for the installation is because you can use this anywhere in the world. You can use it in the USA, which is where I'm at, or you could use it overseas. To me, what would be overseas? Um, you can use this anywhere, and um, it's really it's really kind of cool stuff. Uh, then you have digital pro. Then you have my paint, and it, this is more like Microsoft Paint kind of thing. And then you have photography, which I I don't think I got into. Oh yeah, I did. Um, then you have dark table. And I could pull camera stuff from what I'm using to film here. Uh, I could do all that stuff. There's media playback. There's this stuff. There's all sorts of stuff you can do. And it's really, really quite nice. And you can record a video of your desktop, which means um, you've seen those guys that are doing something and they're getting the direct content from their desktop, they use a program like this. And I can record my desktop and you move around and you can record it. And um, this is the sound generator stuff is really cool. Then there's Hexer. This program I don't have any speakers hooked up, but it did do it, I know that. So, and then you have Office, Document Viewer and stuff like that. Uh, you, what I would do is put LibreOffice on there, that way, and then there's that, then there's Catfish File Search, which I find hilarious. Calculator, Archive Manager, Application Finder, stuff, the usual stuff. And then there's Publishing. There's front page, and you could do editor, you could do music stuff. And it's stuff written for piano or a musician. This is based on their stuff. So, 
anyway, that's pretty much it for this. So, there's system, there's... You can manage an audio session. But anyway, that's it for this. If you have any questions, feel free to comment.